Director of Operations for Signpost, and this is Phil Rainey, our Head of uh, Community Partnerships and Innovation, and we're absolutely delighted that you've joined us for this special day today. Thank you, and um, a big welcome from me. It's so brilliant to see you all here today. I can't believe how many people have come. Absolutely fantastic that you're all here to share this very special day with us. I need my glasses, sorry everybody. So I would um, like to invite the Bishop of Bedford, the Right Reverend Richard Atkinson, to the stage. So just a moment, I'm going to start us with a blessing on the work of Signpost, but it would be remiss for me not just to say congratulations before I say our prayer, that uh, original local discernment of need being recognised in 34 years of serving the homeless in Luton and central Bedfordshire. As I thought about that work, um, the passage in the New Testament, in St Matthew's Gospel, of the sheep and the goats came to mind and you may or may not remember these verses but then the righteous will answer him Lord when did we see you hungry and feed you or thirsty and give you something to drink when did we see you a stranger and invite you in or needing clothes and clothe you when did we see you ill or in prison and go and visit you and the king will reply truly I tell you Whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did it for me. It seems to me it's that spirit of service to those in need that we celebrate today. So a prayer of blessing on the work of Signpost. Let us pray. Loving God, who calls each of us to love our neighbour, we give thanks for the work of Signposts over the past years, in providing for those who are homeless and in need. May the signpost's values of respect, togetherness, happiness, innovation and inspiration continue to guide all that they do and challenge each of us in our love for all. Bless this day and the work of signposts on this day of celebration, its staff, residents and all with whom it partners, that it may continue to enable all to achieve their potential and receive that fullness of life that is your gift to us. In the name of God, creator, sustainer and redeemer. Amen. Thank you very much, Bishop Richard. I would now like to invite Tim, our Director of Operations, who's going to talk to you about Signpost as an organisation. Morning again. So, um, before coming here today, I was discussing my talk with my wife, and um, she said quite clearly to me, don't try to be too charming, don't try to be too witty, and most importantly, don't try to be too intellectual. Just be yourself. <laughs> so thank you all once again for joining us for what is a landmark day for Signposts and helping us to celebrate the work all our volunteers do to make Luton the awesome place it is to live, to work and, and, and to visit. Now, in 1985, a group of people came together to try and find a solution to the homelessness crisis that was, had fallen Luton and Signpost was born. This group then went on to become some of our most consistent and um, trusted volunteers, our board of trustees. And it's important that we recognise today the fact that our trustees give their time and experience so freely to support Kevin, Phil, Leanne and myself and the whole Signpost family so freely. So thank you. Carol, Les, Cherry, Anne, David, Derek, Chris, and not forgetting, of course, those who are either no longer on the board or no longer with us. So, as I mentioned, in 1985, Signpost opened with one hostel and 16 beds. 
and over the past 34 years we have tried consistently to progress and develop to try and meet the needs of the population of Luton who are suffering from homelessness. This has led to us now having 13 buildings and 137 beds. Now the great, the great Mahatma Gandhi once said that the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. And this is what underpins our model of support at Cypos. We fundamentally believe in the absolute potential that each and every one of us can recognise. And that for people to move on through tough times to reach this potential, they need to recognise and develop their strengths. Now, this is often referred to nowadays as an asset-based approach, a strength-based approach. However, we simply like to just look at each individual's strengths and help them to develop those. And it's with these Merck values in mind that Team SP was created. And Phil will give us a, 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 a more detailed history of Team SP later on. Although today we are celebrating in St George's Square in Luton, it's also important that we recognise that since 19, 1997 we have been supporting the young people of Central Bedfordshire in Dunstable and Houghton Regis. And later you'll see one of these young people, who is now our first signpost apprentice, perform a bespoke drama which has been written by the Next Generation Youth Theatre, NGYT. Now, challenging the stigma and perceptions that surround homelessness has been a long-held objective within signposts and underpins all that we do. So since 1985 there have been many opportunities for us to do this and just a few of the innovations signposts have introduced include a pioneering service that has always and continues to follow some of the housing first principles of providing a tenancy for life with open-ended support to people with severe and enduring mental ill health. This service was opened by signposts, Luton Council, mental health services and all work housing, so a true partnership and supports five people in their own self-contained flats. Five years ago we opened our first SOS shelter on Dallow Road. Then three years ago this shelter moved to a a more fit for purpose building in James Court, Arthur Street. And today we are waiting, hopefully, to receive planning permission for what will be a third uh, move to Guildford Hall, which is a 45 bed unit behind the library behind us and in the town centre, and which we believe will be a game changer in the fight against rough sleeping in Luton. Guildford Hall will also provide a base for our hugely successful street outreach team. On their stall over here, there today, you can please go over and speak to them about the inspiring work they do to support people off the street and into accommodation and support. In the past 12 months, Cypos and the rest of the Rough Sleeper Initiative in Luton have helped to significantly reduce the levels of rough sleeping in our town. And this has been achieved by working in close partnership with the Ministry of Housing, Community and Local Government, Luton Council, East London, East London Foundation Trust, Resolutions and of course our friends at Noah Enterprise. None of these innovations or services would have been possible without the hard work and dedication of not only our staff teams, our trustees, but also our volunteers and most notably, Team SP. I hope you enjoy the programme we've brought together for today. And I would now like to invite Meryl Dolling, our Sheriff of Bedfordshire, to the stage. I hope you can hear me, it's a bit high. Lord Lieutenant, ladies and gentlemen, honoured guests, Good morning. As High Sheriff of Bedfordshire, it's an enormous pleasure to be part of today's celebrations with signposts. 
who are truly worthy recipients of the Queen's Award for Voluntary Service. The High Sheriffs of Bedfordshire have had a long and close relationship with signposts since 1985 when they first opened. In his year of office, Daniel Hanbury visited the signpost team on their very first job in Grove Road in 2010. And Jack Sapsworth, a much loved former High Sheriff from Luton, was particularly supportive during his year in office in 2012. And I'm delighted to say that I've spotted a number of former High Sheriffs actually in the audience as well. Welcome to the Countess of Errol, who was High Sheriff in 2015-2016, Cynthia Gresham, Vinod Taylor, uh, Judith Howard. And I apologise if I haven't spotted everybody. I personally have known Phil Rainey, who's Head of Community Partnerships and Innovation for a number of years. And I've seen her infectious enthusiasm and motivational skills working with volunteers at a range of civic events, undertaking particularly car parking and marshalling duties. And as a councillor for Stutsley Ward, my husband worked with her team on litter picking cleanups in the area. We've also seen signpost volunteers working in the kitchen at Stopsley Baptist Church, as well as popping up at events such as the Big Dig in Farley, the Mayor's events in Houghton Regis, and most recently in the People Power Passion Plays in Luton Town Centre here. I've also been very aware of the wonderful job signpost has done to help homeless people not only to find accommodation, but also to support them to overcome the issues that were affecting them and to move on and develop their potential. I'm also looking forward to visiting Signpost Office in the near future and working with them in my year of office. But for today, huge congratulations to all involved in Signposts and carry on the good work. Thank you very much. And we'd like to wish you a wonderful year for your High Sheriff year, Meryl. I would now like to invite Chantry School to the stage. So if you'd like to come up, Mr. Kelly and the children. Now, Chantry's Primary Academy and their awesome Deputy Head teacher, Mr. Kelly, a big thank you because you're the first school that we've worked with at the Love Luton Half Marathon, the Great British Spring Clean. These young people always support all the large community events and they're there cheering loud when the runners cross the finish line at the Half Marathon. They also came in as part of the nomination process when we were uh, applying, when we were um, nominated for this Queen's Award and there was a step when the Deputy Lord Lieutenant came and um, invited us to answer some questions and Mr Kelly and the children kindly came in. They are now going to uh, perform a poem about volunteering. We don't do it for money, we don't do it for fame, we don't do it to get any personal gain. We don't do it to lend a helping hand, together with our community we stand. When we volunteer, we feel good about our A feeling that you cannot buy with money or with wealth. It's not for the medal, it's not for the pride. It's for the feeling we get deep inside. It's the reward we get deep down in our heart. It's the feeling that, you're, that you've been a part of helping others far and near.
So thank you, Mr. Kelly and, and the children of um, Chantry Primary Academy for your wonderful poem. And you're always an inspiration for us at Signpost, and we look forward to volunteering with you in the future. Thank you very much. So I would like, now like to introduce our play, My Kingdom, My Castle. My Kingdom, My Castle was written by David Lloyd of NGYT and is directed by Laura Lloyd of NGYT. David used the stories written by people that have lived at Signposts and we hope you enjoy it. Kingdom, no homecoming cuddle. Yet here I discovered my own special place. Beyond the past that I remember and the past that we face. I came to discover a place I could just be. Signposted so brightly was a place to be me. Where I was seen as more than I am. Where belief was restored and that feeling I can. Feeling I'm someone of value. Success. Worth more than before, when we felt so much less. So I ask you, I beg you, look past what you see. From the outside it's easy to think that you know me. When I'm homeless, I'm oh, homeless. homeless. Had you guessed? Did you know? Did you think I'd be begging with nowhere to go? Did you think I'd be nowhere, unable to dream? Did you think I was no one? We're, We're more than we, we see. see. He's more than he seems. My mate's mum was proper sweet, to be honest. She let me crash on the sofa every so often. <laughs> I wouldn't sleep that well, though, because they had these um, zebra finches in the lounge and they were always making noise. That, and I found it awkward waking up seeing her get into her dressing gown and slippers. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't being ungrateful, I just... Uh, I didn't want to overstay my welcome. She even bought me my own towel. <laughs> I had some other mates to stay that too, but... That never really went as well. I never felt like I could relax. Felt like I was always getting in the way. Do you know what I mean? One of my mate's dads would only ever come into the room when I went out. Turns out I was sat in his chair. I wish he'd have just said something, but he didn't. And I get that a lot. People not saying anything, but looking. I just wanted to know, when does that start to get easier? When does that start? I live in the before, the bit before I find my beginning, my place, where I'll instantly know that feeling. You all know it. You all know the feeling of knowing that you are safe and that no one can take it away from you and that it will last. I guess you call it home. But for me, it was when I found signposts. And 18 months down the line, I'm going to Event meetings with event organisers. Check me out. <laughs> Been put forward for numerous awards. Who'd have thought it? Me. Community Volunteer of the Year and Luton's Most Outstanding Citizen 2017. They believed in me. They saw something in me and they made me see it too. My skills. Yeah, skills. My teachers would be choking on their coffees right now. <laughs> but the best bit is seeing people proud of me, for being me and... It was signposts that gave me the confidence to start looking at the future. I have skills, I can cook, I can clean, and I love gardening. My nan had green fingers and I guess that rubbed off on me. Bill, I 
like her taste in music. What was it? Tie a yellow ribbon round the old oak tree If you still want me, if you still love me <laughs> That was her favourite And I'm lucky from what I learnt from her and for what I know now In some ways I didn't need support from signposts But it was nice to be encouraged to get up in the mornings And find something to do, some structure I enjoyed it One day I was on the bus And we went past this overgrown graveyard And I thought we can do something here We can make a difference I approached Phil, we went and had a look. We talked to the vicar. We even blagged some equipment for free. Within 10 days, we had reclaimed the ground from waist high grass. And I was proud of what we did. Even if I didn't think it was possible, but we were in the local radio. We were even in the newspaper. What can I say, Dave? Famous at last. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just really proud of everything we've been able to achieve. Even when I didn't think it was always going to be possible. But possibility was now reality. Our potential finally seen. From lost, alone, nowhere to call home. To achievements beyond our dreams. Who I am is important. Where, Where I live, live is, is not. not. What we have, all that we can give. Celebrating all we've got. It was hard, because I guess it took me time to go from thinking how most people see me as a homeless person, to how I wanted to be seen, just as a person. Does that make sense? Well, here I get that. I was seen as me and felt safe, not judged. I started getting involved with the team at Signpost and I remember litter picking at the River Lee. And who'd have thought cleaning was so good? Rewarding even. <laughs> it gave me pride. Yeah, I was proud. And from then on in, whatever was going on, I wanted to jump on it and even get involved. So I went and absolutely loved it. Everyone was so welcoming and friendly. I wanted to give back something and it gave me an opportunity to volunteer with Team SP. I was apprehensive at first, but I went, meetings on a Friday, they built me up, they fixed me, I fixed me. And I loved doing the jobs, working as part of a team. I remember taking part in Clean for the Queen. Little old me, Clean for the Queen. <laughs> How good does that sound? Proper posh. <laughs> Look at us now. <laughs> and I just love giving back to the community and feeling like I was part of something, part of somewhere. Part of our town. Yeah, that was the best bit. The getting together with everyone, it felt like a family where no one was judging you. I mean, we'd cook together and eat and get to know one another as people. It was weird just sitting and talking to people, knowing that they'd been there too. Like different stories, but somehow they brought us all to the same place. We'd often sit and talk about what we would do next with Team SP, and it was always forwards, never back. I like that. What we could do and achieve. Sorry, what we will do. I can't forget what happened at home with my mum and dad, but that isn't going to define me. I'm not a statistic, I'm a somebody. No postcode, but I'm so much more than that. We all are. Two years on and now I have a beautiful little boy and, and my focus is now on my family, looking after them and myself. I'd never have dreamed that I'd be thinking about life insurance, Ofsted reports, trying to buy a house and maybe even getting married one day. <laughs> he doesn't know that yet. <laughs> <laughs> no one would believe that this is my life now, but it is and... We are not a perception, or a pastime of pain. We are not a statistic, a number, no name. We are the greatest accomplishments, the furthest of paths, the finest of stories that turn through the dark. We've written new chapters, we've discovered the stars. Judging books by their covers won't lead you to ours. Because here, right now, the stories we've told... Found a home. Found my castle. Found my kingdom of gold. <laughs>
and of course Dave's Luton's most outstanding citizen 2017. I'd also like to say a special thank you to David Lloyd for writing such an authentic piece um, <coughs> that, that truly captured the stories of people who, who lived within Cypos and also um, Laura Lloyd who choreographed and directed the performance which was absolutely awesome so let's give them another round of applause It now gives me great pleasure to introduce a person that holds a, a special place in my personal journey and is an absolute inspiration to us all at Signposts, Phil Rainey. Phil will tell us a bit more about the journey of Tim Westbrook. Thank you, thank you Tim. Now I'm going to read because for those of you that know me, I waffle and I use 20 words when one will do. So I'm going to read. I would like to start by thanking each and every one of you who has joined us today. It is my immense privilege to be here and talking to you about the journey of Team SP. This journey began in 2010 when I met with Kevin Porter to pitch an idea to him. The vision was to start a volunteer team that would contribute to the community, challenge the stereotype of how people who are homeless are seen. And luckily for me, he gave me a job. I started work in our, in our hostels in Signpost One in Dunstable Road and spent time getting to know the people living there. We had our first meeting and we talked about what kind of volunteering we might do and what we might call ourselves. There was a bit of a theme in the room. People kind of felt like this might be a way of giving something back, making up for things they had done. And I really wanted to challenge this narrative. I suggested to the group that we could aim to build a great reputation have a can-do attitude and use the many skills that we all have and that if we were successful we would have a waiting list for our time in years to come and we would be an equal part of our community. So we had a competition to choose the name and got people to put their suggestions forward and in true Team SP fashion we all did it together and we voted and chose the name Team SP. All the decisions over those many years are made like that. People that live and work at Signposts, volunteer together, we organise everything. The logistics, the planning, we do it together. So we had a name and now we needed a job. And I just noticed my sister-in-law Eileen, put your hands up, and Andy in the back there. So they were at Grove Road Church and um, they'd had a flood and they were unable to get anyone to agree to paint it. So they said, well, do you want to come and paint the church? I went around signpost one and I kind of said, has anyone got any painting and decorating experience? And yeah, there was a guy there, Robert, painter and decorator. So we went along, had a look, and he told us what to do. And within three days, we painted, we cleaned the carpets, and it looked amazing. So Team SP began. In the first few years, we tried a few things to see what we were good at. Uh, Mark West, formerly of the Bedfordshire and Luton Community Foundation, asked us if we could help them move their offices. So we got our minibus and trailer, and at this stage found that our forte was never really going to be for moving furniture. As we went round the corner in the minibus with the trailer, and all the, door, all the drawers came open on the filing cabinets, and we're like, oh, didn't think of that. Stopped the minibus, turned them around and did complete the furniture move safely. We discovered how much fun it was volunteering in green spaces, working alongside partners at the Green Sand Trust and others, chopping down trees, clearing pathways, clearing ponds. We began litter picking and we are proud now to have led large and small teams who have cleared thousands of bags of litter from our towns. 
I'd like to say a big thank you to Dave Crean, wherever you are Dave, I know you're here. Dave gave us our first job marshalling at the Marsh Farm Fireworks and later the next year at the Marsh Farm Festival. Volunteering at festivals is a really fun and we now feel really privileged to be a part of so many of the wonderful events that happen in our community. From the Hightown Festival, Z Mella, the amazing People Power Passion, and being there the day Luton Town Football Club brought that trophy through, we're a part of that. Just awesome hearing our volunteers telling the Friday meeting, one lady in particular saw the big banner for the Love Luton Half Marathon and she said, we're, we're a part of that, our town. Fantastic. So partnership has become integral to Team SP and partnerships nowadays include schools, businesses, faith groups, community groups, local authorities, members of the public and more. And it is with these partnerships we now lead and organise annual events such as the Great British Spring Clean, which this year saw 250 people come together. And this October we will organise and coordinate the volunteer marshal team for the Great Love Luton Half Marathon. In closing, I would like to thank our incredible Team SP volunteers past and present over the many years who have generously given their time, their skill, their energy for the benefit of our community. I'm not going to list them all by name, there are so many and I'd hate to forget someone. So I hope you all agree that we have and will continue to challenge the stereotype around homelessness. People who despite having no permanent postcode are people, people that are talented and generous. And to finish, we're just going to show a short video which captures some of the fun that we have while we're out there volunteering.
you. So as you see, litter picking, marshalling and working in green spaces is a lot of fun. I would now like to invite Robin Porter, CEO of Luton Council, to the stage to say a few words. Thank you, Robin. Don't want to get more music. Um, good afternoon, everybody. Isn't this an absolutely fantastic day? And uh, well done, Phil, for, for booking the weather as well. Um, so for those in the audience that don't know me, uh, I'm Robin Porter. I'm the, the new Chief Executive for the Council. Um, and it's an absolute uh, privilege uh, and very humbling uh, to be here today uh, to talk to you all and just to say a few words. Um, so first, to start off with my huge congratulations to signposts. Uh, the Queen's Award for Voluntary Service is the highest voluntary and community sector award that is possible. An absolute accolade for the charity. Signposts have been serving our community uh, for nearly 30 years. Uh, Kevin, 30 years ago, was close to retirement. Um, and uh, I'm informed he still is. Um, but through that time, signposts have been supporting homeless people to reconnect with our society. Um, a really, really important and fantastic asset for Luton. But signposts are part of a community. We've got 480 brilliant charities in Luton today. For me, they're a crucial part of what makes Luton such an amazing and brilliant place. They're a crucial part of our care and community, and they really are part of what makes us special, um, what makes us so vibrant and so dynamic as a community. Charities play a really, really important role in our town. Now, I'll go further. Charities play an absolutely critical role in our town. We've got thousands of jobs being created uh, in the town through the work that we're doing, huge amount of economic development, but we want those jobs to go to Luton's people. And charities such as Signpost assist people to improve their resilience, their focus, their stability, and their skills to enable them to access those jobs. Now working and volunteering for a, for a charity is not an easy thing to do. It's not an easy choice to make. And for me, people absolutely make organisations. Now, I was out a couple of weeks ago um, with the Signpost and NOAA outreach team uh, very, very early one morning. Um, it was about half past four, five o'clock in the morning, uh, reaching out to people uh, on our streets uh, who were sleeping rough. Seeing the dedication, the focus, the passion, the love that our teams put into helping people in our community uh, to improve themselves, for me, is absolutely inspiring. And one of the things that makes Signpost so special for me is the people that it's got within it. People who, on a daily basis, inspire me to try to work harder to make more of a difference. So I'll, I'll finish where I started. Um, I just issue my huge congratulations to Signpost, uh, to the team of Signpost, um, and also to all of our charities in Luton. You are brilliant. You make us what we are. You make us a great place to be. Thank you. Thank you, Robin. Um, we're absolutely humbled by your kind words, and I know our volunteers truly value the working, working in partnership with Luton Council. Love Luton, and, and we're currently really enjoying being a part of the people, power, passion. 
Now, it's with great pleasure that it falls upon me to invite Her Majesty's Lord Lieutenant of Bedfordshire, Helen Nellis, to the stage. And may I also invite Carol Van Shagen, Saipo's Chair of Trustees, and Kevin Porter, our Chief Executive Officer. people of this fantastic town. It's so brilliant to see you here for this incredibly special occasion. Um, we've been hearing just a smidgen, I think, of the accolades that are due to the wonderful people who for so many years have worked tirelessly to bring this great organisation into the hearts of the town and into our own hearts as individuals. I think that the work that you do shows us all what true humanity means. It means recognising that each and every one of us are someone special. How touching was it to hear the children reading that poem and how moved I think we all were by that quite incredible play that really spelt it all out um, and made us really able to step into the shoes of people who don't necessarily have an address or a postcode to call their own. It has been with great pleasure, I'm now my eighth year as Her Majesty's Lord Lieutenant, it has been with great pleasure that I have seen this signpost and everything to do with signposts and all the people who you bring together as a result of your wonderful volunteers coming together and going from strength to strength. You really define for us what the very best of humanity means, so thank you for that. And now those of you who know me know that I usually don't read speeches, but I do want to impress upon all of you, if you haven't understood it yet, that to receive the Queen's Award for Voluntary Service is simply a completely outstanding thing to do. And I am here in Her Majesty's name to formally present to you the Queen's Award for Voluntary Enterprise. So I have formal words that I will read out and make a formal proclamation and then hand over the award to your Chair of Trustees and to Kevin. And distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is a great honour for me as Lord Lieutenant of Bedfordshire to be here today representing Her Majesty the Queen to present signposts Luton Team SP with the Queen's Award for Voluntary Service. This is the highest award in the country given to volunteer groups. It is an award for the volunteers themselves to acknowledge the real difference their voluntary work makes to our lives. To win this award is a tremendous achievement and shows the highest recognition of all the volunteers and staff of Signposts. As we've heard, Signposts was formed in the early 1980s when a group of concerned local people came together to tackle the growing challenge of homelessness in Luton. For over 30 years, Signposts has provided residential and supporting services to those who are unable to find suitable accommodation to meet their needs. By 2010, Signposts identified that a fifth of their clients were returning to homelessness after they had progressed living 
uh, through living at signposts. And as a result of this, Team SP was established. Team SP's aim was to encourage signpost clients to volunteer their time to do something constructive within the community. Team SP project has grown year on year, underpinned by the belief that communities work better together in partnership. Team SP delivers thousands of hours of volunteering. Important relationships are built and the team get to know each other better as they work to help us create a great community and town. As we've heard, Team SP regularly marshals at local festivals and big annual events such as Love Luton Half Marathon and the firework display, also regularly organising litter picks and supporting all sorts of environmental projects. And the local rotary groups and multi-faith communities, all of whom share the same goal of adding value and improving their local areas and enhancing social opportunities. In Bedfordshire, people choose to become volunteers for a number of reasons. They want to give something back to an organisation that has impacted on their life. They want to make a difference to the lives of others. They want to help the environment or help others who are less fortunate who don't have a voice. To feel valued and be part of a team or to gain self-confidence and self-esteem. Regardless of the motivation, what unites all volunteers is that you find it both challenging, enriching and rewarding. With over 80 volunteers on signpost uh, Team SP's books, I believe that each and every one of you makes a difference to the lives of people living here in Luton and in Bedfordshire. May I say at this point, I am very grateful to Deputy Lieutenant Rob Oakley, who leads my Queen's Award for Voluntary Service panel, and the other members of the team who visited signposts as part of the process of the consideration and nomination for this award, some of whom are here today to celebrate with you. John Maddox, Cynthia Gresham and Judith Howard. Thank you all for, very much for the hard work that you've done. With volunteers at the heart of its activities, Signpost Luton Team SP is an exceptionally well-run, high-quality organisation and represents the very best example of how well-coordinated and dedicated volunteers can make a genuine impact on everyone that uses their services. I would like now to call forward Carol and Kevin to formally accept the Queen's Award for Voluntary Service and I will first read out the proclamation that is signed personally by Her Majesty. Elizabeth II, by the grace of God of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland and of our other realms and territories, Queen Defender of the Faith, to Signpost Luton, volunteers who marshal at local festival, organise litter picks and in other environmental projects that benefit green spaces and our community. Greeting. We, being cognizant of the said group's outstanding voluntary work in the community and being desirous of showing our royal favour, do hereby confer upon it the Queen's Golden Jubilee Award 
for voluntary service by groups in the community 2019. For such period as the group continues to provide its current service and do hereby give permission for the authorised emblem of the said award to be displayed upon the group's letterhead and other public material. Given at our court of St James's under our royal sign manual this second day of June 2019 in the 68th year of our reign. Congratulations. also present this very fine and very heavy, may I say, award, which I know will be displayed with the utmost pride in all that the volunteers do here at Signpost. Congratulations. a very chewy cake if you could kindly bring the cake to the stage to our three mayors of Luton, Houghton, Regis and Dunstable. I mean, we've talked a lot about our community work, but it really is, a, a, you know, a togetherness thing. So we have so much support from the local authorities, from the mayors, and uh, we really wanted to acknowledge and thank them personally. So we've got some lovely badges for everyone that's here today, but I want to start with giving one to our three mayors. Two, well, two. Right, now, this is the time where I would like to invite... Are we ready, almost ready for me? Cool. So I would like to invite all our Team SP volunteers. So if you've volunteered with Team SP right now or in the past, this is your moment, this is your award. Come on up. Thank you. 
down there. over the last almost 10 years. So let's have that big cheer more than... Hey Dave, who are we missing? <laughs> Somebody. I'm not sure what he's doing, but he says we've missed somebody. <laughs> come on, come on. No, no, no. Stay here, stay here, stay here. Come on, Sue. Come on. I tell you, these people are trying to hide. Come on. Are we there? and make sure everyone gets a badge as they get off the stage. Somebody pass the badges to Dave. Pass the badges. <laughs> Yay, they're coming through. If you'd like to come off the stage this way, this way, this way. Okay. Well done. Fantastic. The sun had changed in the atmosphere Architecture, I'm familiar I could get you to study Skyflies by in yellow and green Stick around and you'll see what I mean There's a mountain top that I'm dreaming of Fantastic, well done Nice to see you here, Jan <laughs> Hey, Eugene Woo! <laughs> Thanks for you! Hey! And here's Rakab, just coming down now! <laughs> there we go, that's it! That way. Okay, that's lovely! Just look at all these amazing people that volunteer in our community! I'm going to have to figure out where I am in my script. So, let us see. It's Tim! It's Tim! 
I'm speechless. Fantastic. I'm so proud of you all and well done. It's so richly deserved. Now we're at, we're at the end now. So thank you for bearing with us in the heat. I'd like to now ask our Chief Executive Officer Kevin Porter to come and say our closing words. I've had many really good days with signposts, but this has got to be one of the best. Yeah. Thank you all for coming today. Thank you all for sharing this very special moment in the history of signposts. Signposts has been a long journey, and I've had the privilege of being on that journey for 28 years. Signposts is a great organization filled with great people, but the best of the people are our clients. Our clients are the backbone of signposts and they're the ones that make signposts work. Yeah, They are fantastic people and I just hope people who don't know them take the opportunity today to spend some time with our volunteers and clients and you'll find out what I found out a long time ago. They are really wonderful people facing some really massive challenges in their lives. And they do it with a grace that is unbelievable and quite humbling to me. So, it's up to me now to thank you for coming, for, or you're for coming. Lord Lieutenant, thank you for, for coming today, representing our, our Majesty and, and presenting this war to us. We are very proud to receive this reward. Thank you. There was a list of vice sheriffs a little while ago. I won't go through them. <laughs> Cynthia, I, said, I see you sitting there. Thank you, vice sheriff, and for all the previous vice sheriffs who have, who have joined us today. Thank you to our trustees, Carol. It was hard work today, but we've done it, yeah? Okay, Carol and I have been with Signpost an awful long time. Les has been with us an awful long time, but the person who has been with us from the very inception, the very moment that signpost was thought of, was our trustee, Anne Eyde, yeah? And would you stand up just for a second? When, when signpost was just an idea in somebody's head, Anne was there. Anne has nurtured that idea all the way through, and I depend on her quite a lot. She reminds me what it is we're meant to be doing, and she does it with so, so well. Okay, so again, thank you to you from Temple Skill, Mr. Kelly. You've been a wonderful, you know, that was a wonderful poem, and you've really added to the occasion today. Thank you for all the dignities. Is, is Robin still here? Okay, uh, I know he's busy. And thank you for all the mayors, deputy mayors, councillors, and everybody that's come to join us today. And can I thank you on behalf of Signpost for helping us to make this such a special day. So good morning and thank you. to capture a photo so Greta where are you our lovely photographer hey so how do you, do you want everyone to turn round so stand up and turn that way you come up Can you do it? so everyone stand up move as close together in the middle as you possibly can How are we looking, Graham? Tom! Tom! We should probably move to the end of the Hi, George! Can you walk? Yeah. Ah, <laughs> Squeeze in, everyone!
everyone. Come on, guys. Just uh, this wonderful sun and catching up with each other. Yeah.